Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now, if you saw my first ever attempt at using Minte papers and you liked that video and you liked what you saw and you thought I'd love to have a go, then you're here in the right place because here is the tutorial for this really simple Perfect for Beginners album. It's a nice size. It measures a six and a quarter by eight and three quarters. So a nice substantial size. And this album came about thanks to madarches.com. Now Mad Arches is an online shop where they are stocking these mint date papers. So for this project, I just used one of the 12 by 12 packs, but I did embellish it with some of the um, paper die cuts as well, but you get all those lovely paper die cuts. So as I said, I used the big 12 by 12, and I've still got some sheets um, left over. One, two, three, four more sheets still to use for other projects. Or if you press smaller things, you can get the six by six papers as well. But so for this one, it was just the one 12 by 12 and the die cuts, which is optional. There's plenty of things you could cut out yourself in the pack as well, because on the back of the papers, you have these images as well, which all tie in with your paper. It was just very easy, much easier just to use the die cut, so no fussy cutting. So the album, I said, was designed with beginners in mind. Without having dies, punches or anything, it was just my scoreboard, my trimmer, some scissors and a couple of magnets. So let's open it up. And in the album tutorial, I will show you how to make the base page which is a pocket page. Now, what I didn't show in the tutorial is these bits were left over from my base page. And if I trim them down, they will fit nicely into my pocket pages as well. Okay, so these bits didn't go to waste. They will be used later on. And so the beginning has a couple of pockets. Let me grab some. Here's one of the scraps left over. I've got a couple of pockets here and then some die cuts just to decorate. And I said, I'm, I show you how to make the pocket page and then it's up to you then how you design on top. But I will show you four different ways of decorating the fronts of each. If there's one particular page you like, obviously you can just make four versions of that. You will have plenty of papers, don't panic. You'll be able to decorate the four pages easily with that 12 by 12. So this one has got a flap here, which is just bigger than six by four. So you can actually just mat your six by four photos on the front and on the back. But then it does open up to be a nice pouch there with a nice pattern continuation going there and closes with a magnet there. Now the backs of each of these has been left blank. Now normally I would have used maybe my Cool Cats um, curved photo slots there, so I could have a photo space for five by seven, but I said I didn't want to use any dies or punches, nothing other than a basic kit to make this. So this was a perfect way of just showing off those wonderful papers, so much detail in these. So that was page one. I said, I'd love to make an album, just four lots of page one. Then page two, uh, this is one of the die cuts, the snapshots. It's just another way of showing off the beautiful papers. So we've got a tuck spot there and a tuck spot there pocket. So two triangular pockets, but with the pattern continuing across all of them. 
And again, each of them is a pocket page. And again, opening it up to show off these papers again. Now I do show in the tutorial that you can make tuck spots with the die cuts. So let's try this time in the tutorial, obviously I haven't had time to try. So you can just tuck your photo or I've still got some of the journal cards left. Have I got them to hand? Yes, I have. So if you wanted to just cut some of the journal cards, you could tuck them in and tuck them into your pockets as you go through. So this one is really nice because if you've got some large 5 by 7 photos, you can tuck them in here. And smaller photos then can go in here. So 6 by 4s will fit here. And then maybe your 4 by 4 or 3 by 4s can fit in there. And then again, one of the die cuts with the camera just mimicking there. So that's page 3. And then page 4. So there's the back of page three. And then page four, I'm actually utilizing these um, journal cards to create a little magnetized waterfall. And, on, oh, I need to put one more in. Uh, room on the back for three by four card uh, photos. And then, You've also got room here for six by four photos and room here for six by four portrait ones or five by seven there. And then the front had those double pockets and the back then just mimics it with a nice little die cut image there. So that is my Mamarazzi album. Great one for beginners. But if you want some extra help, head over to my Facebook page or my Facebook group called Paper Crafting with Paul. And in that group, you will find the Mamarazzi album uh, cutting list and scoring list. You see with Mad Arches. Now this hasn't got the photos in yet, but I'll be taking photos of these to go in here. So you also look a little bit smart in this. And obviously I used mine when I was making my tutorial. So that's why it's all marked as well. So yeah, so if you head to paper, paper crafting with Paul, there'll be a link in the description below to the Facebook group and to Mad Arches for you to get hold of the supplies. And if you head to the file section in paper crafting with Paul, you'll find the PDF, which then you can either just keep on screen if you're using your iPad or your phone or print off like I do so you can tick off as you go through. So if you're looking forward to watching this, please give me a thumbs up. And if not, if you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button. It really does mean a lot. It helps my channel to grow and be seen a little bit more. So thanks for watching the walkthrough and I look forward to seeing your versions of my Mamarazzi album. So if you're ready, let's get on with the tutorials. See you again soon.